Hello, my name is Jared Howell, and today I will show you a brief introduction on how to use Touch OSC with your iPad. Now when you have the Touch OSC editor open, you'll have the ability to choose whether it's an iPhone or iPod Touch. We'll just go ahead and choose iPad. And very simply, you just right-click on this layout, and you'll have all of these options. Now, what I suggest is going through and just adding, you know, one of each, maybe customizing it. You'll see when we put up, you know, any of these, we have the choice of changing its color or the size. You can just click and drag here. And we can name them. We can have, um, you know, just a label for it if we wanted to label it something, a certain fader. We have uh, these rotary knobs and once you have your layout set you want to go ahead and sync you click sync on your computer should be able to just click layout here add and then it'll find your MacBook through Bluetooth and it'll add that layout that you have brought up so we'll see that when we click over to, to that layout that we just added I've got it on my computer, or I've got it on my iPad now. Now what you can do is use a program like Osculator to link all of these controls to various CC values. And as you can see here, what I've built is just some XY pads and some knobs and faders that correspond to the ES1 plugin on Logic. So if I go ahead and I choose my ES1 layout, you'll see that I can control this cutoff. I can control cutoff and resonance with this XY pad. As well as attack, decay, and sustain release of any I've got frequency and volume range, bend range, a master fader. And a way to control LFO. Basically, every parameter that's on the ES1 on Logic, I've mapped to this Touch OSC control surface. And we can go through here and click presets and go through each one. So that's one way you can use Touch OSC through Osculator to map um, at least MIDI CC values. And you can see how this could lead to a lot of different options.